Hi guys and welcome to week 8 of my 52 weeks of progress. If you're new to this channel or this series, every single Monday I film a video where I talk about the progress of my goals and the changes I'm going to make. If you would like to do the same with your goals but you're struggling to remember to do it or you feel like you need some guidance or support, I will leave a link below so you can sign up to a free, spam free newsletter from me where every single Monday I send you some questions you can answer to track the progress of your goals because I believe so deeply the importance in tracking your progress. It's the best way to come closer to your goals, realise what's working, what's not and it's just a great way to take a step back to appreciate your life and just see like what's going really well because it can be very easy to lose track of where you're at so that's why tracking your progress and taking that step back is really important. Um, if you'd like to know more about this series I would highly also recommend watching the very first video I did of this series because I go into a lot more depth about what this series is and why it can be really beneficial for you. With that being said I'm going to now answer my questions. So I'm currently in Bali and because of this lack of routine and change in environment and scenery, um, everything's a little bit different to usual. I'm not doing as much as I usually would towards my goals because I'm on holiday. Um, yeah, everything's different. I'm on tours, I'm with my friend. So it's not my normal routine and I'm just accepting that as hard as it, as it is for me. Um, yeah, it's a temporary thing. I am, however, still trying to do as much as I can. Um, so, I have four goals. For what steps did I take towards my four goals? For step, for goal one, I honestly made no progress. It's a goal where I want to be on a TED Talk and I could be taking steps where I'm practicing public speaking and I'm writing my speech and um, doing research on that. But right now, and I made this decision literally 30 seconds before filming this, I really care about, I care about all four of my goals, but there are two goals that I really care about right now. One is my coaching business and the other one is the marathon because that's something I've really committed to. Um, the other two goals, the TED Talk, I really want to do it, so I'm not changing my mind. I do want to do it. I want to help people. I want to spread a really good message, and I feel like public speaking on big platforms is the best way to do that. So I'm definitely not saying I'm changing my mind on the goal. However, it is not my priority right now when my other goals are so freaking big. They're so big to me, and a lot of work goes into it, and I'm tired of feeling overwhelmed because I feel like I've got a lot on my plate. So I've just come to the decision that I'm not going to focus on it right now. I always do personal development every single day without fail. Um, I'm always reading and learning and growing and that plays a huge role into the TED Talk speech goal because I'll be doing a speech based on personal development. So um, I still am taking like subconscious steps towards it because then when I am ready to do the TED Talk I'll just smash out a speech, I'll practice it and all of that. But right now um, as much as I really want to do it, I don't see myself doing it in the next 12 months. So I'm going to stop talking about that goal. So I'm going to remove it from now on. Like, I still will prioritise it again, but once my other goals are way more stable. So, yep, goodbye to that goal officially. I'm still going to do personal development, which will help me for my speech. I'm so passionate about the topic I want to talk about that I do research on it all the time. That's what half of personal development is so naturally I am taking steps towards it but I'm I'm just sick of saying every single week I've made no progress because I haven't sat down and written a speech but also like having a YouTube channel I prepare like little tiny notes about what I want to say in these videos but I don't um, practice I just press record and do it and so this is practicing my speaking skills as well anyways for goal two um, I made quite a bit of progress. I had a coaching call with my coach and I put together a good plan of the steps I want to take. Why is it so blurry? Um, in terms of social media. So I've got a little bit more of a schedule. For goal three, I'm reading the best book ever, guys, on relationships. I highly recommend this book. Um, and again, I'm going to remove this goal because... I'm in a great relationship, obviously that could change, but for now I'm in a relationship. So 
saying like what progress I've made um, to a goal that like I've essentially um, it's, I haven't completed it because a relationship's an ever-growing thing but um, I'm always going to be making progress no matter what stage my relationship is at because if something went wrong in the relationship I'd be learning from it and if something's going right I'm learning from it and Relationships is the thing I'm most passionate about in my entire life, so I'm constantly learning about it and being in a relationship and also not being in a relationship, I'm learning about myself and other people. So I'm constantly making improvement without realising. I think time plays an important role, but also making conscious effort to learn. And again, I don't want to say every week, I read a book and that's the steps I took and I also don't want to um, talk too much about my relationship because it's um, between someone else um, and myself and so I, I can't really go into details with it anyway so I'm so passionate about relationships that I will always be making progress um, with it um, no matter where I'm at in my relationship like whether I'm single or not and so I'm always going to be learning about it so again I'm going to remove it from my goals because I don't want to just waste time every single week saying um, I read a book you know I had a big conversation like all of that sort of stuff I'm always going to make improvements so because a relationship isn't really a goal to achieve it's just um, it's just something so beautiful and magical and I'm going to love every pro like process of it like regardless um, I'm not going to waste any more time uh, talking about it I will make separate videos where I talk about my learnings of relationships and if you follow me on Instagram it's just Sophia Rose Bernardi I would highly recommend you do that I talk about relationships on there and I'm going to in the future be talking way more about it especially with everything I'm learning in the relationship books and so yeah I'm always going to make progress with them because I love relationship books I'm addicted to this book it's so good which is men are from Mars women are from Venus highly recommend so yeah if you'd like to hear about me talk about relationships please let me know of course and I'll make specific videos to it because I feel like I'm learning so much and I'll also be doing that on Instagram but yeah I'm not going to talk about it in these videos anymore because I'm just saying the same thing over and over again so yes so really I'm going to focus on two main goals uh, this year for now again I could change my mind I'm only um, at the end of February and I'm already changing my mind on my goals well not really but um, just want to focus on a lot less so I can achieve more basically that's really what I'm getting at um, I, I'm still gonna make effort in all other areas of my life but um, as I always do because I'm always um, tracking my progress but yeah I'm rambling now and for goal four didn't make that much progress again I'm on holiday I haven't been going for any big runs I've been doing exercise you know I've been swimming I've been going for hikes I've been going for little jogs but no real progress I'm going to get right into it from the 1st of March um, because that's when all my holidays are over and I can get back into my routine which I'm that excited for anyways did I break the chain Yes, I broke the chain. Um, like I just said, I haven't been sticking to my normal routine. Been reading a lot. That's the thing I'm doing the best at. Um, I've been exercising a little bit. I have not been meditating nearly as much as I would like to. Um, I've been having my cold showers. Um, yep, I haven't been waking up at 5.30 very much at all. But I'm on holidays again. Um... And the processed foods, um, I've been having sugar and stuff like that on occasion. So, yeah, it's not perfect. It's definitely not great. But I've taken steps that I know I'm going to make immediately when I go back to Adelaide and get back into my normal routine. And I've just, like, I was speaking to my partner about it. And he just said, it's so important that you feel like you're winning with your habits. And that's so true. Um, and I feel like I'm failing all the time because I'm not doing all my habits perfectly um you know I'm messing up and I think it's everyone keeps telling me it's so important that I acknowledge the fact that I am on holiday it's not really an excuse to just like let go of everything but of course like with habits you need certain like cues and triggers in order to do them um for the most part and because they're I'm 
building these habits like they're not automated for me at all yet because um, I only just started um, started them at the start of this year so then to go out of your environment of course those habits are going to slip up um, and it's yeah I'm finding it very hard to like be with my friend 24 7 and then um, like meditate or go for a run like I'm spending quality time with him because we have a limited amount of time together so just all these things are playing a role in why I'm not um, doing so well with that but I know as soon as I get back to Adelaide I hopefully will be doing way better in terms of that so I'm just trying to simplify everything I feel like I've put a lot of pressure on myself to do everything amazingly um, and I'm crashing because of it so I'm trying now I'm just trying to make my focus way more um, yeah specific focusing on less things so I can achieve more basically and changes to make for next week is what I've literally just decided prior to this video which is to focus on less so I can achieve more um, that is my focus basically um, like that's the changes I need to make and what do I acknowledge myself for? I acknowledge myself for not beating myself up for failing or giving up or changing a plan. That's a big trigger for me. Usually I would be super disappointed for myself. It's very hard for me to say that I'm going to stop talking about two goals that I really care about. Um, it's very hard for me because I don't like feeling like I'm failing. But I'm looking at this from a different perspective. I'm seeing this as I'm doing this so I can actually make more progress because I know with relationships because it's my greatest passion in life I'm not just gonna stop um, learning about it and trying just because I don't have the goal written down I don't talk about it every Monday I'm always going to review my progress with my partner and with myself and I'm always trying to improve myself it's literally what I do from the moment I wake up every morning it's like how can I live in a beautiful state and improve my life today that I live by that um, like a broken record and so it's why I do these videos it's why I spread messages it's why I track my progress in the first place and it's why I set goals so doing all those things will only help me in a relationship and will only help me um, spread a positive message because I live by it like no tomorrow whereas running a marathon scares the living daylights out of me I have to focus on that every week or I will not do it because I don't have this massive desire to run 42 kilometers but I have a desire to improve my health and fitness and get that amazing routine and discipline and structure but it's so hard so I have to review my progress every week and same with the coaching business I so badly want to help people and I do help people and I want that to be in my career and to be able to rely solely on that so I don't have to do all my other five jobs that I have like I love them but I love coaching I love helping people but it's so hard to start a business and it's so easy to give up and there's so many things in the way that's stopping me from getting there like fears and doubts so I have to track the progress every week otherwise I will slip away and not realize where I'm going wrong okay so that's what I acknowledge myself for um, is just being so honest with myself that having all these other things that are distracting me um, feeling like I have to do all this other stuff and just do everything perfectly is really stopping me from making real progress right now so um, by having only two goals that I really am focusing on right now I have no excuse to not make progress every single week no excuse um, yeah this it was supposed to be five minutes god that's a long video I'm so sorry but I'm making a change so I had to explain myself and because I didn't prepare this video well enough um, this happened <laughs> anyways I hope if you're still watching amazing thank you so much um, please subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram and you can add me on Facebook I've also got a Facebook page I post on all of those like every day I'm very consistent um, so if you'd like to follow my journey and see where I'm going with this I would highly recommend you do all those three things um, I'd really appreciate it thank you so much to everyone that sends me messages every single week comments on my photos and my videos you really don't know how much it means to me I really appreciate it 
I've been getting lots of lovely messages recently and yet yeah, I'm just from the bottom of my heart super grateful so thank you so much for following my journey um it means a lot to me and I really hope that what you get out of this is encouragement and accountability to do the same for yourself um but I make these videos because I know what it's like to watch other people on social media and um, you can get really inspired like oh they can do this like they're so real they make mistakes and look that they're succeeding and stuff like that so um, I don't know you know how well I do um, but I know that by being raw and authentic and and real that hopefully you can relate and be like oh I can set big goals too um, you know I don't know what I'm doing half the time I, I work it out as I go and I have a coach that helps me and I, I'm constantly trying to find new ways to improve and make this progress easier and not give up um, but I'm learning as I go and I want to share that because hopefully um, in a year or however long you know I will be doing so well like with my goals and where I want to be at life and I can look back at this and remember like oh my god you really can do anything because right now I have no idea what I'm doing but I'm going to find a way because my why is so strong so if you would like help setting really specific goals um, or your values or you have some limiting beliefs that are in your way please do not hesitate to reach out to me it's something I'm I'm loving doing um, uh, and I'll, I'd love to help you so please reach out to me we can work something out because I yeah I love helping clients with it and um, I also coach myself as you can hear um, and it's so important because now I feel good and I made this decision 15 minutes ago okay thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye